What is up everyone, Kenny KO back with another video, shirt off, pants down, and I have some crazy stuff going on that I want to share with you guys, and I had to put this out there due to it being on Instagram stories, I really wanted to raise some knowledge about everything that's going on, you guys know I keep it 100% transparent, and I like to share with everything that's going on within the industry. Now, to start off this video is going to be about a gnome Egger, the guy called out being the, one of the biggest fake natties. He replied to my video and I will dive into that. But just an update guys, if you were curious, my video here, I made a YouTube video a few days ago about Evolve Nation or Heba Alley and her 900 pound fake weight lift. And she also replied to my video and let's just say she didn't take it too well. So just an update for you guys, I will be flying out to Vegas on the 24th of uh, this month on January 2018 for a day and she says that she wants to prove the lift so we'll see if that actually happens she's been talking a lot of smack about it but let's just go ahead and jump over so here's the clip here guys of let's start with evolve nation calling me out before i get to a gnome as you can see she did 10 plates um at barbell brigade with iron plates trying to prove to me that she could do the 900 pound lift but if my math is correct and you know being that i'm out of high school for quite a while now and i haven't used math in the extreme i believe 45 pound plates times 10 would only be 450 pounds not 900 about half the weight she claims she can do but anyway let's run it through oh my and that, like these are definitely real like a 450 pounds definitely impressive but it's about half the weight exactly half the weight of the 900 pound lift she claims she can do so She's definitely upset about it. She tags me in all of her stories about it. And, you know, I guess we'll see the 24th if she can do it. She claims it was a warm up, so I guess we will see though, boys. And then jumping over to a gnome Egger who also got triggered extremely bad boys, shirt off, pants down. Um, I called him out about being a fake natty. As you can see, I'll just give you guys an example that either are new to watching and aren't subscribed yet or don't know what I'm talking about. I made a natural or not video on a gnome Egger. And the only reason I make those video guys is due to request. And the only people I really bash on hard is when they put this in their bio right here, natural bodybuilder. So obviously not natural guys in this condition and maintaining that amount of size and fullness. But I made a whole video on that if you guys want to check it out. But let's just go ahead to his response. So here is his first story guys, a gnome Egger, the guy I just showed you on the profile on Instagram. And it's kind of hard to read with the title, but I'll read it out for you guys or um, with the background. He says, dude is calling people out just to make profit and to gain popularity. Otherwise, no way you could make it. Kind of sad with some type of emoji that I've never seen. It looks like a moon or something. But uh, So he's calling me out about trying to make profit off of calling these guys out when my whole reason... I hardly make any money guys I make below minimum wage off of YouTube this isn't even my job I do this as a passion and I do it because I want to expose these guys that are saying the wrong mindset for those that reach out to me in my comments and my DMs that are around the 15 to teen age and totally saying the wrong mindset for those guys that want to achieve a physique like that so jumping over to his next story he says advertising is blank just shows he's the definitely not standing for what he says and just wants to make some money and then highlights one of my bios or pretty much every one of my bios that's in my description of every video and it promotes enhanced athlete of course because I promote enhanced athlete I do believe in SARMs and their supplements and everything that they have and they keep it 100% transparent hence why I work with enhanced athlete and that's why that's there and then he shows my PayPal which is I have that on there for personal training guys that's how I get paid for that through my online training <laughs> So his argument of why he's mad at me and trying to call me out saying that I'm not, I'm just basically being fake and doing it for the money and the popularity is just simply not the case. And then shows, I don't know why he highlighted the part where I saved my gaming channel. Moving on to his third story on me. Thanks for the free advertising, Kenny Boy. Your negativity is too weak and can't stand against my real fans and community. Well, your real fans probably know that you are a fake natty, and if they don't, they definitely should, or they have no idea what's going on within the fitness industry. So hopefully, you guys and Noam Edgar's fans, if you're watching this, trust me, 150%, this guy is not natural, okay? Do not believe him. He does it to push product and sell his training because he wants people to believe 
the natural community that he is indeed natural so that he can get that clientele base. I'm telling you how it is. I know the industry and that is exactly what he's trying to do. So that is it boys. I just want to give you a little update on the two drama situations that are going on. Anon called me out over Instagram. So did Evolve Nation, but Evolve Nation, at least Heba Ali, she is going to try and I guess prove it on the 24th, like I said, of January. And we will see what happens when that date comes to show and if she can do the 900 pound lift. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe you guys already know this, but I was tagged in a ton of comments and people commented saying I should do this. And I knew I wanted to do it before these stories expired on Instagram. And make sure to stay shredded, stay aesthetic, and don't forget shirt off, pants down, boys.